The Stirling engine is a unique type of machine. In most forms it looks something like a steam engine, but unlike a steam engine, there is no external pressure supply. In fact, it's a completely closed system capable of being powered by virtually any heat source. To understand how these devices work, let's look at a cutaway model. Here we see the piston and cylinder that drive the engine. It is connected by an air passage to a chamber with cooling fins on one end and a heat source on the other. This chamber has a second piston, which does not compress air or provide power to the engine. It merely displaces air as it travels back and forth. In operation, a heat source is applied here, causing the air inside the engine to expand, moving the driving piston outwards. This causes the rotation of the flywheel, which moves the slave piston, displacing air from the heat source to the cooling fins. The air in the chamber cools, lowering the pressure in the engine. This causes the driving piston to retract, which, in turn, causes the slave cylinder to displace the cooled air back to the hot side of the chamber. The air is then heated, which starts the cycle again. For a better view, you can take a look at this glassworks engine, which has clear cylinders so you can observe the piston movement. The speed of the engine is influenced by how fast the air inside can be heated and cooled, so engines like this will work best with hot fuel sources and cool surroundings. If you are interested in models like this, these engines and many others are available from PM Research of Wellsville, New York.